The 18th problem of this first ACT practice test focuses on arranging fractions in increasing order. In which of the following are 1 half, 5 sixths, and 5 eighths arranged in ascending order? With a problem like this, there are two simple approaches that we can take. So first I'll take the formal approach, which essentially entails just finding a common denominator for all of these fractions. So the simplest way to find a common denominator between two fractions is just to multiply their denominators together. So 6 times 8 would give us 48 would be a common denominator with these two. And since 48 would also work for 2, we can use that. Though there are simpler denominators we can use. For instance, we could use 24 since 2, 6, and 8 all go into 24. So let's use 24 since it's the simplest, though if you forget how to get a simpler common denominator than 48 or 96, you can just use those. So let's change all these fractions to fractions with denominators of 24. So let's first deal with 1 half. So we'll do 1 half first. Changing it to a denominator of 24 means we multiplied the 2 by 12. So we'll have to do the same to the numerator. And 1 times 12 is just 12. Now for the fraction 5 sixths, we multiplied the denominator 6 by 4 to get it to 24. So we also have to multiply the numerator 5 by 4, which is equal to 20. So 20 24ths is equal to 5 sixths. Now for 5 eighths, we multiplied this 8 by 3 to get it to 24. So we have to multiply this 5 by 3, which is 15, so that 5 eighths is just 15 24 ths. So now we can see that 5 sixths is the biggest and 1 half is the smallest. So that means that choice F is the correct answer. Now I did mention that there's another simple way to do this, though it's less formal. And basically, I'm just going to compare each fraction to the other fractions. And 1 half, we know, is smaller than 5 sixths, since 3 sixths would be equal to 1 half, and 5 sixths is bigger than that. I can also say that 1 half is less than 5 eighths, since 4 eighths would be equal to 1 half, and this is bigger than that. So I already know 1 half is the smallest, and there's only one choice where one half is the smallest, so I could stop right there. But just to keep going with this method, let's also compare 5 sixths to 5 eighths. Since the denominator is bigger in 5 eighths and the numerators are the same, this must be the smaller number. So we can say that 5 sixths is bigger than 5 eighths. And with that last piece piece of information, we now have enough to conclude that choice F is definitely the correct answer.